There's sound here. Let's play the whole thing in full. I have been stabbed, shot, poisoned, frozen, hung, electrocuted, and burned. Oh, really? And every morning I wake up without a scratch on me, not a dent in the fender. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed. All right. I'm going to turn on that sound way down here. I have been stabbed, so there's some shot. interesting stuff there to see. I uh, have some comments there, of course, and I got some questions. And mostly also some character motivation questions. Um, so let's go one by one. So let's see. I have been stabbed. I kind of like that beginning that we actually focus on hands. The the thing that's a bit tricky is that we also have movement here. I have been stabbed. So I'm looking at the fingers. Shot, poison, frozen. And I guess it's just a reaction to frozen that she has here. I don't know. To me, it seems like it's also a bit of an overlap with this. Like, if then I will put them further out, you know, where the feet are maybe here, just kind of cheat that distance. We don't really care about the, you know, the real life distance there. And then potentially, since we are a bit low every now and then on this, bring up that arm and the hand so that, <coughs> excuse me, the fingers are more of out here. Just something where we globally take the whole thing and move it up a bit and her a bit over there. Personally, just just in terms of composition and I have been stabbed, shot, poisoned. Yeah, and, and, and readability. Frozen. frozen huh. I have been stabbed, shot, poisoned, frozen. Huh. Watch out at the end. Like I don't mind I have been stabbed. the way it's here and the contact point is, is good on the fingers. Just this seems a bit odd at the, at the very end, once we hear frozen. How the fingers kind of spread out to the side. To me, I would just go foom and then cut. Or if you want to hold for a little bit, just keep it around here and have the moving hold more in the in the wrist and arm. You know, potentially just kind of keep whatever you have, but not move. Personally, I wouldn't move the fingers up. That feels like a a weird deliberate move, mainly because also this finger doesn't move and this one really wants to go over there. Stab, shot, poison. Frozen, hung. Now, the thing is now, the transition to this shot, if we keep this and we look at this, they're, they're moving fairly slowly and kind of softly. Shot, poison, frozen. As if, you know, it's kind of listening maybe, but not really that tense. But then we cut to, hmm, <laughs> squinty face. Hmm, what am I listening to here? Where it feels like the feet would be staying like this maybe with some movement every now and then but sharper movement that kind of reflects the tension that's in there Hung, electrocuted and burned oh really the thing that's kind of odd i'm gonna put the sound back in here is that electrocuted and burned. she is reacting to what he's saying so, all right that's fine electrocuted and burned oh really but then this seems more like sarcastic burned. oh really oh really she doesn't really believe it <laughs> And I know it's in the sound, but really? Every but this seems weird because it's oh really? I don't really believe you, but then I'm really shocked at what you're saying. Like that just doesn't quite work for me. It's either you're gonna minimize the really? that sound and just stay in that kind of headspace and doubtful look, or. Really? Or go into like a sigh smile, <sighs> really, where it's more like, oh, really? And then that imagine she would just kind of almost go from here to here, but not back. But imagine this goes down a bit slower to match that sound, but then more with a bit of a smile and eye roll like, <sighs> I can't believe he's saying all this. That to me would make more sense given this, especially the, uh, the, the tone here. And burned. Oh, really? Of, of how she says how really. Let's bring back the sound a bit. Every morning I Which then would have to kind of match to, you know, so you don't end up with this. So whatever you end up here will match there in terms of her. And then the weird thing is that, let's go back up with the sound. Every morning I wake up without a scratch on me, not a dent in the face. So he says all this. Without a scratch on me, not a dent in the fender. She reacts, you know, and it's still very doubtful with the face. Watch out with eyeline. Doesn't quite look like they're connecting there. I am an immortal. 
Like the way he does this, like I don't mind what he does because he he says all that Death stuff. Defender. I think this beard is really strange. How much there is movement in a beard in the chin? This is usually fairly, you know, fairly it doesn't really move at all. If there may be this thing, but if there's a ton of wind, so to me, I would take out the animation on the chin and the hair. That type of flappy overlap is very strange. But for him to go like, oh, I did this, I did that, haha, uh -huh, I guess, I'm immortal. Like, that works. I don't mind that. Watch on me, not a dent in the fender. This, I would be careful because then you get into that classic W pose where... Watch on me, not a dent in the fender. Like, what is he pointing to or towards? Like, why do we need that? I think to me it would be more... The fender. What is he going? He goes back there. I don't know, to me personally, these are usually overused gestures in animation. The W pose and just arms out and then, you know, pointing and stuff like that. It could just be since you've using been using arms, it could just be something where this is purely told through the chest, shoulder and head. And the arms actually just go back down with hands on, on the thigh. Personally, that's kind of how I would explore that. Um, silhouette wise, I would try to bring that hand a bit more over here. And you're going to have to cheat that cup over here and then have that hand a bit further out. So that you have a bit more room to show that bends. Right now, it just looks like a very short arm. Silhouette-wise, and we're really losing the structure of that arm. Whereas this is better. I mean, if it's something like this, imagine arm is just lower. Hand here, hand here. Really understand the length of both arms. And then, so the other thing that's kind of odd is that he says all this. And she's all suspicious. And then suddenly, like, why is she suddenly going crazy-eyed? You know, really just showing a lot of white on the eyeball looking at this i am in the morning to grab this and again we're back to w pose watch out for stuff like that i am in the morning to grab this and if there's something in there this would just spill oh. i don't know to me like, if she is if she's not really interested like, you could to me sell this Although it's tricky because Good morning I wake like we want to look at him. Up without a scratch on me, not a dent in the fender. I'm not super worried about this, even though this steals the focus of without him. Without a scratch on me, not a dent in the fender. He, he does just keep talking, repeating himself, kind of. So it's I don't I don't actually quite mind that she does that thing, but thinking out loud, what I'm thinking here is that he does all this. She's not really believing any of this. Like, hmm. So do not have this re this <gasps> shock reaction. And when this happens, it could just be maybe she drinks and realizes, oh, it's empty. And because she doesn't have any coffee anymore, that's why she wants this. And this would just be more... Scratch on me, not a maybe at this point, you can also do it where he's done talking since you already don't have any eye contact. He would be looking here and then almost looking at camera and then looking over and looking over. So you have a bit more of a gradual, you know... Um, progression of him looking away and because he starts looking away she then puts the coffee cup down but then just kind of grabs this and kind of slides it over and not to draw attention just to, just to kind of sneak it over and then to drink i hope that makes sense it just to me all those elements seem odd where she has shock and then she's back into not trusting then she's going into like a big thing that he would absolutely notice and that is a huge gesture that would spill everything else and I think I would combine or think about moments of, well, if she is out of coffee, if she wants that coffee, why does she want that coffee? Is that because she's out of coffee or this tastes bad and she just wants this? And then she would just kind of grab it or, you know, a bit more sneakily grab it into that end. I know, like I have a bit more. I'm okay with all the stuff that he does. He seems fairly in character. It seems all okay. I'm just slightly confused about that. So I guess it's more questions then critique i guess so let me know let me know an email let's talk about this and uh what we can do about all that all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you